I am so excited to record this video because finally you guys are going to have a complete understanding of what you can get with my enhanced chart trader platform. So this will be the first video of many videos I'm going to be releasing over the next few weeks. We're going to start with the basic chart trader tools. So what you see here on this screen is what you can get at the lowest price to replace the standard ninja trader chart trader. And I believe even at this lowest price, I've added a ton of value for you guys to be able to customize this into the chart trader that you need based on your own trading plan. So let's get started. Looking at the chart trader, you can see it's very similar to what you're familiar with. Probably if, if you use ninja trader in the standard chart trader, let's take a look. Here's the standard chart trader. And then here's what I've created. Now I believe what I've created is simplified, but also adds complexity and adds options for you guys. So let's see how simple it is. Just from the top, you select your account. You're familiar with ATM strategies where you can configure your targets and your stop. Again, this drop down is going to contain the same ATM strategies that you have already created to use with the standard Ninja Trader Chart Trader. What's cool about this button here with the X is that you can quickly clear it out. So you can then have it set to none and then click it again to pre-select the ATM that you last selected. Of course, your quantity. And then this is a new feature. It's really neat. I can either trade micros or minis in the same chart. So if I'm trading NASDAQ, for instance, and I want to calculate my chart window on minis, I can still trade micros by just selecting micro right here on the mini chart. Moving down, looking at the overall picture, any of these buttons can be removed from the panel. So for instance, if I'm not using or ever going to buy or sell market, I can just remove these. So that it eliminates the ability for me to make that mistake. Same thing here. These are the limit buttons. With Ninja, you're locked in on either buy ask or sell ask, buy bid or sell bid. Conversely, mine can be customized. So in both cases, I'm wanting to buy at the ask. And here, I even have an offset configured with my buy limit buttons. You can customize the offset currently set to two ticks. Okay. Moving back up, you've got a close all button, pretty standard. But here I have a break even button. So for instance, if I get into a trade, okay, and I wanna move to break even, great, so now that we're up in the trade, we can see that if I hit the break even button, barely up anymore, it's gonna move our stop to break even immediately. So this button can also function as a reverse button. So based on what you have configured in the settings, most people don't reverse, right? So why don't we just get rid of that button, that ability completely and replace it with break even. You can also put reverse here if that is important to you. Notice as I scroll my mouse wheel, I can change the distance of the break even. So it can be break even plus two, break even minus two and more. Let's look at the buy and sell click buttons. So here's where you're gonna be able to place orders. So rather than right clicking as you do in Ninja to place your order. You're just going to simply click buy and then click on the chart and it's going to automatically place the type of order based on where you click. So if I'm going to buy stop, obviously it's going to be above the market. I can configure this to stop limit or stop. If I'm going to sell, it's going to be a limit order above the market. So again, with these, I can click and then click to place my pending order. What if I want to change the quantity of my pending order? Yes, we can do that. Simple. So we're just going to click on the number and then we can scroll our mouse wheel to change the quantity. And then once we're done, click the checkbox to confirm the quantity change. So again, just some improvements that I've made compared to the Ninja Trader platform. What about the ability to attach orders to indicator plots? Yes, it's done. And as long as it's on, all I need to do is sell click and then 
as I hover, I'm seeing the details of the plot. Here we've got a 132 EMA. Here we've got a 200 EMA. Here we've got a five minute 50 EMA. And then as I click on the plot, the order becomes attached. We can confirm at the 132 EMA, and it's gonna trail just like it did right there. It's gonna trail with that moving average. Pretty cool, pretty easy compared to what you can do with the standard Ninja Trader chart trader. So I'll hit close all to cancel that. Real quick, if you're enjoying this content, I hope you do three things. First of all, like the video, click the thumbs up. Second, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I love interacting with you guys and hearing about it. And then lastly, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. This is gonna make sure that you're the first to know when I release another video. Thanks so much, you guys. Grateful, thanks. Let's take a look at these order flags in more detail if I get into a trade. So we'll just buy market. These are by no means my normal targets on the NASDAQ. I'm just doing some examples here. So with these, we can actually combine our targets. So if I put the target right on top, targets are combined or separated. So same thing down here with the stops, combined or separated. And we're also seeing the amount of dollars on the profit target in the stop loss. So another great feature, just being able to show the number of dollars on this. Um, you know exactly where you're at at all times. You can change this to also points or ticks as well. One thing I'd love to do is just make this white box so that if you click it, it would then toggle between points, ticks, and dollars. So that will be upcoming as a promise to you guys. I'll be adding that. So along those lines, what I want to say is as you guys become a customer, you're going to notice that I really do care about your requests. If you have a request, a feature request, for instance, like I love implementing feature requests from my customers. And so that's just one I think has been requested. And also just makes sense, right? To be able to interact with these better than when you click this white box, you would have the ability to see quickly either points, ticks, or dollars on these profit target slash stop loss. We can also use OCO. So let's say I wanna place a bracket order and I have a tool for a bracket order, but you can also do it just with this basic tool, right? So if I turn OCO on right here, I'm gonna buy above the market, I'm gonna sell below the market. These are OCO. So if I go ahead and just cancel one, the other one is gonna get canceled. So again, you've got the OCO feature. If you wanna place or use bracket or a bracket, buy and sell entry right on this panel. Quick reminder, everything I've been showing you can be found on my website. You're gonna to get to the website by using the links in the description below this video, and I'll see you there. The close all button, by the way, can be used to cancel orders first. So watch if I place an order, it now becomes a cancel all if that feature is enabled and it will not close my position. So let's say that I'm also in a trade, right? I'm short. Now, if I hit this cancel all button, it's first gonna cancel my, my pending entry. And then second, it would close the position. So that's kind of a cool feature of that button as well. Just rather than having to click a can small cancel button, you can just with one button click cancel any pending orders. I'm gonna briefly interrupt the enhanced chart trader presentation to take a look here on the right side of my screen. You may have noticed over here behind the chart, I have my accounts dashboard product. What this is, is it's a trade copier, right? It's a trade copier and a risk manager. So you can do a lot with this, manage risk across your accounts with daily goal and daily loss, see all of your account statistics in one window, you configure it. Here you can see I'm selecting follower accounts. You have a master account, follower account, and copy your trades. So if you've been having issues with other trade copiers, or if you need a trade copier, if you know what I'm even talking about, I hope you'll check this out in other videos that I've recorded. Thanks, you guys. And I'll cover a few more things before we wrap up the video, taking a look at the profit and loss display. This can be hidden or it can show with, 
without commissions or with commissions. So as you click through, it's without commissions, with commissions, or hidden when you're flat, right? You can also change between instruments. So I can see all instruments or only the MNQ, right? So I've traded multiple instruments. I'm able to see only my PL for one instrument or my PL for all instruments. So another pretty cool feature here to be able to trade multiple charts and kind of see where you're at on each individual instrument. Here you can also um, hide the entry. I don't see a need for the entry. Ninja shows it. Flats, whether your position and your and your entry price. Again, I usually just leave the entry hidden and just need to see how many contracts I'm long or short. What about the trade executions display? Another great thing that I put into this is how I display my execution. So if we look at the standard Ninja Trader way, you've got a bunch of stuff and you can't really make any sense of it, right? Entries, exits, don't even know what's hardly going on. Compared to over here on my chart trader, you move your mouse to the right. This is where you get some buttons and features to enable and disable. You're gonna click and you're gonna be able to see your entry and your exit. And so I, I'd love to improve this. I think it could be improved, but this is what I have for now, right? Your entry is gonna be blue if it's long, red if it's short, and your exits are indicated by the white triangle. So yeah, entries, blue triangles, and red triangles, exits, white triangles. As I click it one more time, then I'm going to see more details, which is the dollar amount per trade. So let's take a look as I hover over a particular trade. I can see that I was short two contracts. Down here I can see I was short, or sorry, yeah. I was short and in for 31 seconds and how much the profit or loss was. That's, that's for all these. Here I was long three. If I hover over the exit, I'm gonna see the amount of time as well, which is a minute and 36 seconds. So I was long for a minute and 36 seconds. Here, hit target one, long for a minute and 10 seconds for $20 profit. So again, you're getting a clean chart display. You can turn these on and off. You can only see the arrows. If you only see the arrows, I think that's the best display. And then hover your mouse to see the details. Or if you click it again, you can always see the dollar amounts for each trade. And lastly, not a big deal, but the bar counter display. Automatically enabled down here. And I know Ninja Trader has their own bar counter display, but this is simplified. We've gotten rid of a bunch of extra text that wasn't necessary. And it's also coded for other bar types. So you're not having to change your, your indicator that's applied based on tick bars or range bars or other types of bars. It's gonna automatically apply the correct countdown timer based on the bar type. So just a little feature that I added because I believe that tracking Countdown is important in trading, right? And timing your trades. The Enhanced Chart Trader, again, there's many other features available for purchase, but this is where it starts. It starts with the basic chart trader tools. Not basic, as far as I'm concerned, but yeah, it's a big improvement over the standard Ninja Trader Chart Trader. And yeah, many more features coming. Hopefully I keep adding things to this as I go. I want to give you guys a ton of value at this entry level price point. And also then I hope you guys will consider other upgrade options. For instance, you can enter on a bar close. You can set up a bracket. You can set up different trailing stop uh, features. You can link a trailing stop to any plot. Um, with one click, you can place an order on a plot. So. Now all of a sudden, rather than having to click sell and click the plot, you can just have a single button that places an order at the plot, such as like a moving average, for instance. So there's a ton of features built in. Again, I'm gonna get started here with just the basics in this video. But yeah, I hope you guys will check this out and uh, let me know what you think. As I always say, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Know if you've been using this, what do you think? What would you like to see added? 
If you haven't been using this, are you going to purchase? What are your thoughts? What about TradingView, right? For you TradingView users, how do you like this compared to what it looks like on TradingView? I know for me, one thing I'd like to see is make it look more like TradingView in some ways. I love how in TradingView, it's just always red for a sell and green for a buy. And I kind of went with the standard Ninja Trader color scheme here when I was coding this um, to just show you know similar colors to what we're used to in Ninja. But I think it'd be great to just have every um, sell entry would be red, every buy entry would display as green. I like how TradingView does that. So just some thoughts kind of off on a tangent, but yeah, grateful um, that you guys have listened to this whole video and that you're in this with me. I love developing these tools and really the best is yet to come. Thanks you guys.